Good morning. This is day six and the final day in the Smokies. And last night did not go without excitement at about 7.40. Uh, one of the rangers was walking over to use the privy and lo and behold there was a monster bear walking out of the privy there were two shots fired they did uh kill the bear and they estimate the bear to be over 400 pounds um, its head alone uh, was around 30 pounds and it was tragic for that to have to happen but this bear had uh, attacked a hiker yesterday morning roughly nine o'clock so the bear was at the shelter that morning the bear came back that evening both times it was located close to the privy but it was also in the uh, food hanging area so again it's it's unfortunate because really we are the ones out here in the bears territory not the other way around but when it comes down to bears becoming comfortable and aggressive toward people they have no choice and neither one of the rangers wanted to do it but unfortunately it it's just it, it had to happen but it was huge that was a monster bear um the pictures we had seen from earlier in the day it did not look as big uh until it went down but nonetheless a lot of excitement last night but just tragic you know how it had to end so anyway this is day six and we will be walking out of the smokies today i do believe that i'm heading to uh standing bear farms where i will do a nero and a resupply to get me into hot springs and from hot springs i'll do another resupply and push on to uh, Irwin and uh, by Saturday hopefully hot springs by the middle of next week Irwin but anyway um, my phone is about full so can't record a whole lot it was a beautiful day beautiful morning and it, it's kind of sad to see the Smokies come to an end but at the same time I am so excited to be out of the Smokies <laughs> But it has been, it's, it's been fun. Uh, the first two days of the Smokies are just, just climbing, it's walking, not a lot of views. But after we made it into day three, it has been, it's been amazing. So let me get off here and get walking and I'll check back later. I'm not sure if that's coming in or not because of the shadows. We are 5.2 miles from dropping our permit and leaving the Smokies. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Might be straight back into the sun.
3.5 left to go. Davenport Gap Shelter. This is the last shelter if you're heading northbound through the Smokies on the AT. If you're heading southbound, it is the first shelter on the AT. It is uh, actually has fencing so you can keep your food inside with you. There is nowhere to hang any food bags out here, no bear cables, no bear boxes. That means I'm about 1.1 mile away from leaving the Smokies. Kind of bittersweet. When I entered the Smokies, I was really dreading it. All the requirements, everything that can happen while you're in here, none of it did. Uh, every shelter that I was in, I had no issues. Uh, I'd like to say no bear problems, but that last night kind of ruined that. But no mice, nobody waking us up in the middle of the night saying we had to get out of the shelter. No rangers bothering us other than the guys that came and had to do their job. I haven't seen anybody even ask for a permit. Seen one ridge runner. I think his name was Chris. Really nice guy. But these last few days have been, they've been amazing. They've just been beautiful. Views everywhere. Yeah, we had weather yesterday, but it cleared up. So, like I said, kind of bittersweet leaving. But I am ready to move on. To head north and uh, start putting some more miles in. I'll check back later. Do you see that right there? Huh? That right there. No words. Absolutely no words. Ooh. Sorry if it's shaky. This is the end for me and the Smokies. Holy Christ. Alright, I got We entered 5 4 2023.
little road walking. We're about to cross I-40. Technically, we're going to cross under I-40. You'll see the blazes on the sign itself, and then you'll see them on the pylons of the bridge. Right there. One on that pole, and then you'll see them right here on the bridge. We're going to go up here. Hang a left, uh, a little less than a mile, we should be at our hostel for the evening. So no, not all of the trail is in fact trail.